country eco groups are urging you to get involved in protecting one of Charleston's most dependable ecosystems. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh got a first hand look at the project coming soon to the Charleston Harbor in the name of environmental preservation. It brings a lot of people together. There's that intrinsic value that um, people gather around the oyster. You know, it's that that symbol of the low country of Charleston. One of these shellfish, big or small, could make waves in life on land and underwater. It is creating habitat for um, lots of fish and other microorganisms. It also produces a massive um, boat wake erosion barrier. Volunteers with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources and nonprofit Wounded Nature will kick off an eighth season of oyster reef building in the Charleston Harbor. Drum Island is a great spot. It's right beneath the Ravenel Bridge, so really iconic for Charleston. We had these big storms as some of the previous uh, oyster reefs we laid were, were washed, washed out. Uh, we're going to recover those bags we can and put them back in place. One of these bags can hold up to 400 new oysters at a time, and once they're placed on one of these trailers carrying around 400 bags of the same thing, they'll then travel 13 miles to this boat landing and out to Drum Island, where they'll present a new window of opportunities for this ecosystem. Getting people out, getting their sweat equity built into the work that we do is vital, um, not only for our program, but for um, the future enjoyment of generations to come of Charleston. The groups expect up to 80 volunteers to join in, piling a thousand bags of oyster shells. But the bags aren't the only bit. These wire cages and tomato sticks can also act as a window of opportunity for growth. SCDNR says it takes around two to three years for a habitat to fully establish. Prepping being a year round gig, volunteers say the best part is seeing wildlife respond. Everything we do every every day we go out on a, on a, on a cleanup or, or a, a job, it's, it's something different. You're out in nature and you feel like you're, you're getting something accomplished. Volunteers will be meeting at the Rimley's Point boat landing in Mount Pleasant tomorrow morning, rain or shine, to get things started. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.